All right, we're gonna rig up the spark shad uh, shaky head here with uh, the missile baits warlock um, shaky head in quarter ounce, and we got the four ounce spark shad. Just gonna thread it on here. You can use whatever shaky head you want. This is the one I use. Once it gets about there, put a little glue on it. Half the time, the eyes fall out when I do this. <laughs> Let me just scrunch it up. Set it. There it is. That's it. So we want this bait to land down like that with just the tail bumping a little bit. That's it. Okay, welcome everybody. I appreciate you checking out my channel. Um, it's first episode. Not really uh, working out the kinks, or I'm just working out the kinks and figuring it all out. But anyway, I it's I shot this July 10th. Um, the first three videos were shot uh, a couple days beforehand. Anyway, I've been on this bite for about a week. And, well, today it was July 10th. It's 80 degrees, windows 5 to 10 miles an hour, you know, a little gusty in certain times. So anyway, I've been on this bite for about a week, week and a half. And at the end of June, we were just crushing them on wacky rigged Cinco's, uh, chatterbait. Could really do no wrong. Well, up here in northern Minnesota, now the grass is starting to come in thicker on the lakes or lake i fish anyway and but it's not topped out yet so when it's topped out they kind of really push to the outside weed line but they're kind of scattered through it and after that cinco bite died for about a week you could hardly get bit and i'm going up the bank where we were crushing them um on the wacky rig and i see all these bait fish i don't know they looked like perch they could have been honestly i don't know what they were but they were all about three to four inches and so i went to my go-to i tied on a kitex swim bait you know and couldn't get bit couldn't get bit and i'm like what the heck so i started going through different um small swim baits and i really started doing good on the reaction innovations little skinny dipper and normally i'd rig it on a swim bait head or anything but it's just so weedy and these fish were really inactive so i just wanted the bait to kind of just sit on the bottom let that tail wag and maybe just bump it a few times as soon as I put it on that shaky head, I could cast it into the weeds a little bit and pull it to the edge or um, work it through there with getting minor weeds. And so I ran out of the little skinny dippers that I was using and then I switched over to the Mega Bass Spark Shad because I wanted that tight um, boot tail wiggle. And man, it's been on since then. You know, this was a cool bait to find out, you know, because normally we'd be working a um, jig worm or something like that right now through this type of grass. Um, but man, this has just been crushing it. 
and the spots I've been fishing were six to nine feet and it was up on a flat with deep like a main lake flat with deep water all around and the weeds were coming up to four feet and on that flat there was big like 20 foot sections that you could work and yeah it was great and the bass were choking it cut a few pike um anyway i'm using a medium light seven to one spinning rod 3000 size reel uh 10 pound braid eight pound floral carbon and i'm probably going to up that to 10 just because the weeds are getting thicker as we go and it's kind of funny so i was sitting on the spot just beating on them for a while and then i decided to the wind was gusting pretty strong during certain times so i picked up the glide bait made a couple casts and then on this cast here i literally saw him pop right out of the weed edge with a pike he beat the pike to the bait i felt a little tick the first time and that's when i missed it but the second time i literally saw them racing for the bait didn't feel the bite and i just saw it and then i set the hook and proceeded to do the worst net job ever you'll see um i learned that i kind of had the net folded up around the rim of the net and it would have been a lot easier if i would have just took two seconds and fixed the net properly and then scooped them up because you can see it's kind of laying up there right now it was a disaster So yeah, man, that's the bite I've been on and I just wanted to share it with everybody and I'm going to kind of do these videos on uh, different baits and techniques and just my way of doing it and hopefully it'll help everybody and hope you guys enjoy. A um, couple more fish videos here for you I'll talk a little bit about and otherwise than that, if you guys have any questions, leave um, some comments and I'll try to get back or I'll try to reply as soon as I can. Um, yeah, good player players always helps too, you know. That bass was not very big, probably not even three pounds. And then see off this part here, there's kind of like a drop. I was kind of fishing the outside weed line on this drop. and Man, they're going to hit it on right when it drops and then you let it sit there for five ten seconds and then maybe move it an inch or two and bam they're gonna smash it and that's probably when i get 90 percent of the bites um on doing that this style that's it for the first episode guys thanks for watching